What's the best thing, G? Welcome back to the Boruto Reactor. Today, it's a great day to be a small body. Watch some more Boruto episode 219. Last time, I'm not even gonna talk about it, bro. I just can't. Sasuke lost his Renegon and uh, the other thing that happened. Uh, Y'all saw my reaction to that. Yeah, let's get to this. Let's see what else What else we're going to do. After this episode finishes, I'm going to go back into the manga and like read uh last episode and like this episode too. If you already missed you subscribe, get to plus the games. Join SVG. Become a member too. Get early board reactions. All the other series I'm doing. And let's get it. <laughs> so they're stuck. They're stuck in this dimension. <laughs> Damn, bro. Rest in peace, Kurama. Loosen up. Momoshiki? Yeah. He, can, he rocks Sasuke! Yeah, Kawaki's free of it for now. He'll be scared. Yeah. It'd be a shame not to use that big ass power. Sail, they're fighting! There it goes! <laughs> <laughs> he got angry and he shot it out. Bro. Man, Kerba's gone, bro. Well, as uh, things going well, that's a, uh, that's one word for it, I guess. Bro, Naruto's gonna be alone now, man. God, that sucks. I've cried so many times after that reaction, too. He's like, oh! Me. Oh, yeah. Sasuke, I got you ready. You're ready gone. My B, bro. <laughs> Naruto, Kurma's dead. Do they know that Kurma's dead? Do they know that he's dead? Sasuke looks sick. <sighs> the end of Legends, bro. Aww. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Damn, man. Oh. Shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It sucks that his Rinnegan's gone, but he looks fucking sick, bro. He looks so sick. And plus, the Rinnegan won't be draining a chakra from him anymore. That is true. Borto did save Sasuke, though. He did save Sasuke. Yeah. Dude, he looks so drippy. Yeah, that is true. They're ready for Sasuke to die. Does anybody know that Kerma's dead? Yes, sir. There's still code, Delta. Koji, he did get out alive. Oh. Oh, he just completely killed her. Here's where it is. Okay, yeah, he did reveal code. If he wouldn't have revealed code, I would have said Amado was evil. Is he built differently? He's special. There's another surviving vessel. Bruh? Bruh, he is! Dish! He put a fucking karma on him, didn't he? As a vessel, he's a non functional reject. So he still has a karma. He still has a karma! Oh, is that it? Wait, what? Is that the karma? He retains the karma's aspect of being a weapon. Dude, look, it's white. So he's a reject. Non-functional, but it also doesn't disappear. Oh, can Jigen respawn from that? It's the exact opposite. He's been modified to put his formidable state. They fucking nerfed him. A limiter. So, would it be as strong as Hishiki? Greatly surpassed Jigen's power? What the fuck do you mean? Okay. He wanted it that way. How strong is he? How? 
Oh, okay. A religious devotion toward the Otsutsuki brug. Oh, God. Well, his God just died, so he'll probably want to go all out now. Oh, okay. So, an immediate, another immediate enemy. And yeah, they're all going. How strong is he? Stronger than Jigen. So, is he stronger than Jigen when Ishiki was in Jigen, or is he stronger than Ishiki? There's a big difference there. He said Jigen, though. You gotta train up Boruto and Kawaki, bruh. There's a Renegon Tomoe platform. He slumbered. So, he's the last one left. I said it too. I tweeted it out. I was like, bruh, Code's gonna be the strongest of the car. I can feel it. I said that like in August. Follow my Twitter, by the way. The young, so he's just on guard of, yeah, guarding the tin tail. Dude, that white karma. That, it it kind of looks sick. So he's. Oh, shit. Dude, the white karma looks so sick. What is this? What is happening, though? Ishiki. What is he? What is he doing? My soul will soon be destroyed. He sounds... He does not sound badass at all. Koda's like, what? Your, your, your soul is going to disappear. What? How, how is Ishiki here? Non-vessel white karma. So he still has the power of it. The, what? What do you mean? The will of the Otsutsuki. It's like the will of five versus the will of the Otsutsuki. So straight up, Jigen's dead. So how does Kawaki get a karma mark again? Ko can't put it on Kawaki. What the fuck that was? Okay. Man, we better have a funeral for, for uh, Kurama, man. We better have one. Everybody's so chill, bro. Yeah, you, you're family now, Kawaki. And rest in peace, Kurama. They better have a funeral for him. I feel like I'm more sad than anybody else here. With my body? Oh, no. You no longer have superhuman chakra. Yeah. But he had a lot of chakra. But he had a lot of chakra because he's Uzumaki. They have naturally have a lot of chakra. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like cheating. Bro, get yourself another hand, man. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Fuck, though, man. Naruto and Sasuke are officially nerfed. They are officially, they've officially lost a ton of power. Man, bro, I just thought about it. We will never see KCM ever again. Or KCM2. Or anything. Man. The media. Huh? Oh, God. Bro, a little fucking chink anime. Get the fuck out of here, man. Bruh. Kurama's dead, man. I guess so. He did save Sasuke. I'm just trying to see a, a funeral for Kurama. I don't really care about the media, bro. I'm gonna be honest. We do not care! This is the exact opposite of Naruto. Naruto would, like, do so much good for the village and nobody would praise him. Nobody would even know who the fuck he was up until the pain. Boruto fucking saves Sasuke with a high compression Rasengan and gets all his praise for it. It was Kurama who saved the fucking village, bro. Kurama made the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, but of course they can't tell him that. They can't, they can't tell everybody in the world that, oh yeah, Kurma's dead, Naruto is no longer strong. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> he's going to become an Otsutsuki. Yeah. And every time I read Karma, I think of Kurama. Yeah, plus he could, he could easily hurt Mitsuki and Sarada. He could easily hurt them. So they can't go on any, what are they going to do now? Yeah, Katasuke could go in. I guess they can't have a funeral for Kurma because they can't let everybody know that Naruto's nerfed or that he lost him. 
Beans. Damn. Sumire likes him. So does Arda, though. I think. And that's the ending. I'll watch the ending when I watch the opening and then the second ending, too. Or and then Kerma's death ending. We are going to read the manga real quick, though, but it just sucks. I mean, this felt like after Kerma's death last episode, I was really hoping for something with Naruto, something with Kerma, something with Sasuke. Just, I don't know, man. I was really hoping for some sort of, uh, I don't know, not, not tribute, but like that man died to save the village. He literally died to save the village. And then we got Chocho talking about Boruto going on stage and Sumida crushing on Boruto. We had Naruto say that about like the heart, like he feels like he's empty and shit, but like it was anything that I really, really wanted. So let's read the manga, see the differences. All right, starting on chapter 53. So starting here where we left off last time on 217, Kawaki was on the hill. It is, it is, oh yeah, on this, it really shows it really well. And it's actually, wait, it's actually a lot different. He did a one hand, he did a one hand sign. He, he didn't use the other hand like he did in the anime, which I, I like the anime part where he like used the, with Naruto's hand. Ninjutsu, bop. And then he was like, what are you doing? You think you're a ninja now? Nya, 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 nya. You can't become a ninja. You're my vessel. And then Ishii was like, yeah, bitch. Oh yeah, well, I'm a shadow clone. He got the, he got the karma mark. Yep. Started stoning away. And then, yep. It burned off. There he is! Seems like you want to say something. Not that it matters. You're going to die totally outsmarted. <laughs> Sleep all you want, you piece of crap. Damn, that's out of nowhere, bro. I got me again. Just Borushiki, just a little fucking goblin running around. Damn, right in his fucking eye. All right, chapter 54. Little gremlin Borushiki. Hey, drippy, bro. I like the blue and the yellow. Okay, yeah, I blocked their pesky space jutsu. Yep, yep, yep. Boruto shattered Riss's heel based on his movements of their fractures. It must be his special healing abilities. Oh, I thought it was Naruto who healed him up. Why'd I? Damn, I said shut up, bitch! And with that extendo arm. Yeah, well, the anime was done a lot better, I think, because he just jumped over there and stabbed him in the back. It was like a full-on hand-to-hand -hand fight, and then he got him in the back. I like the anime version of that better. It seems the extraction has progressed quite far. Which means it should work. And then Sasuke, bitch! Get the fuck out of here, bitch! Even if... I mean, that even if karma... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 80%. Yeah, Borushiki looks fucking dope, bruh, in the manga, too. I'll use as a sacrifice. Yeah, it's pretty all... And the anime did that really well. Oh, shit. The Naruto. Yeah, passed out. And Sasuke. Oh, yeah, the one hand sign. Yep, yep. Oh, look at the, oh, the artwork for Amaterasu, bro. Fucking fire. Fire style. Fireball technique. Yeah, he absorbed everything. I, I guess Kalki set himself on fire like in the anime. Like, like in the anime? Something's wrong with the Lord Seventh. Yeah. He's noticed. Oh, in the anime, he was like the damn Uchiha. A damn shotting gun or something. He might be wounded, but I still won't walk away unharmed if I face him head on. Ugh. Oh, shit. Oh, the Rasin God is out of nowhere. Oh, he remembered the vase. Yeah, then he fucking rock Kalki. Damn, Kalki remembering so much about Boruto. Yeah, he set himself on fire. Yep. Pretty, pretty accurate. Anime is pretty accurate. Forcing Boruto to absorb the fire jutsu, making Boruto awaken a little bit, and then he, yeah, he fucking took over. Yep. Dude, the anime was spot on with this. Don't! Crack. <laughs> and then Naruto. Let's see if there's anything different with Kurama's death. Code looking drippy. Okay, yeah, he awakened. Came to say farewell as so far as that goes. Ah, oh, shit. Kill my paw and maw. Wow, wait, why would they say that? They didn't say that in the anime. Why would he say that? I guess that's where he started. Are you serious? That's it? Damn, bro. In the anime, the anime did that so much better. Like, Naruto thought he was going to die with Kurama. Oh, I guess maybe he still does. I don't want to chase my tails, chase my tails and die in vain. The Biju Shocker simply vanishes. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, here, yeah, never mind. Here, he, he thought he was dying, too. In the anime, it was just, like, the one last final fist bump, and they were saying goodbye, and then it was, like, at the end, it was just shock. It's no more than a temporary state of shock. No, man. Burial mode's price is my life, not yours. Damn. Yeah, you ain't gonna have the superhuman strength no more. Ah. Ah. Damn.
So uh, to them, it looked like he died because he's in shock. Damn, bro. In the anime, it felt so much longer. The anime it felt so much longer. Maybe because the voice acting and like the the soundtrack and shit. That shit was rough, bro. And Kawaki got knocked out. Damn. So in the so in the anime, he just he told Sasuke. He told Sasuke that, or in the manga, he told Sasuke that Kurma died. Code. <laughs> Look at this dude. Tintail. Yep. The anime is pretty accurate to the manga so far. Just a few things that were different. The white karma is sick. And for some reason, Ishiki just shit out of the karma. Somehow. All my vessels gone and nowhere for my soul to dwell. Its destination would be you, Code, who could not become a vessel. <laughs> okay, so here he told, um, he told him about Amado. Kawaki. Yep, yep. I thought he put another karma on a code. In addition to that white karma code, my soul will dissipate shortly. Over thousands of years. Yeah, so he's just like, the will of the Otsutsuki. So I guess it's to be the will of five versus the will of Otsutsuki, like I said. Oh, shit. Oh, this is different. Kawaki or Uzumaki Boruto. Consecrate either of them to ten tails and cultivate a divine tree. We didn't hear this. We didn't, help, we didn't hear Ichiki tell uh, Code this. Wait. Then pro procure the chakra fruit that the divine tree bears. It is the crystallization of a planet's life. It shall contain everything. A record of all life that ever lived on this, lived and died on this planet, including me. What the fuck? What the fuck? I didn't hear about that. Eat it and upgrade yourself, code. Do that, and you yourself will become a new Otsutsuki. What the fuck? I ain't ever heard no shit like that in the anime. Then go forth and devour planet after planet across space. Keep evolving until you become a peerless, unique existence. What is this, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Is that a karma? All those are Jogon. These are all Jogons? Yeah. What the fuck? What in the fuck? He can become a new Otsutsuki, so Ishiki is dead. I thought somehow Ishiki would like revive in himself in code or something, but no, like he's actually dead and code is going to become a new Otsutsuki. Bruh, there, I guess there's something with the Jogon then. It was like becoming a god or something? Bro, look at code. He looks sick. That is the Otsutsuki will. Why would they not explain that in the anime at all? You are my god. So I want to first dispose of those who stole the pillar of my heart from me. Then I have the divine tree absorb all life. Wait, what is this aura? The names of the bastards who destroyed you. Oh shit. So they haven't got, they haven't came back yet. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. But th this, this whole conversation with Ishiki was just completely omitted for some reason. For, why? I guess Ishiki is dead. And Kalki does not have a karma mark anymore. So how the fuck does he get it later? From episode one, unless it's just retcon, like I said. This is like pretty much exactly word for word what they said. Uh, besides this, I want it gone now, no matter what it takes. Oh, this is him telling him the traitor Amado Uchiha Sasuke, Okage Uzumaki Naruto, and Momoshiki's vessel Uzumaki Boruto. Oh, shit. So that's all I'm allowed to read for now. Damn, bro. They completely left out a huge chunk, like becoming a god. But the rest of it was pretty accurate. It was like exactly word for word. Besides the, um, the anime threw in like not and Boruto becoming super popular on the TV and Chocho -cho talking. We could all do without Chocho -cho talking all the time. You know what I'm saying? But apparently these are all Jogon. I assume we won't see this next episode. So, and Boruto has a Jogon. So there's obviously, obviously some sort of connection there with, um, Boruto becoming OP or something. He has to be like insanely strong later because like, how are you going to, how are you going to become stronger than Naruto and Sasuke and, and, and not be insane? Like literally nutty. There's also a bunch of cyborgs and stuff that were de deactivated or deleted by Amado, but he could still be evil. So those could easily still be wandering around or he could still have him on standby. And uh, code with the white karma mark. He's stronger than Jigen. Mighty bold claim. And what the fuck are they going to do now? Naruto's gone. Naruto doesn't have Kurma anymore. Sasuke doesn't have his Renegon anymore. Nobody is strong enough to deal with anybody on Jigen's level. Like Naruto and Sasuke got clowned. They got clapped by just Ishiki. Unless for some reason Boroshiki comes out and takes out Code. Actually, that could happen now that I think about it. Boroshiki could try to preserve himself and feed Code to the Tintail instead. Because I guess it could be Kaoki or Borto. I don't know. But Boroshiki and Code could fight for that reason. But Code is going to become the new Otsutsuki.